Hello everyone. I found a recipe on, on YouTube for a, an eggless omelet. What you can see right now, I can probably lower this a little bit, that I've got stuff in the skillet. I've got vegetables in the skillet that I am, that right now I am trying to make translucent. And in this bowl are the ingredients to make the omelet that I will add water to. And I put a little bit of, co of coconut oil in this to uh, get it a going. I, what I did is this doesn't call for onions, it doesn't call for the uh, peppers, or it doesn't call for paprika or parsley or anything like that. I decided to make this my own. I just basically, what's in here, and I'll tell you basically the omelet itself. Hi to everyone coming in. If I'm not talking to you, it's because I'm, I'm busy here. But what it takes is one cup of graham flour. What that is, is chickpea flour. So you know what I did? I went and bought a, some, a bag of chickpeas this morning, and I went and made flour out of it in the Vitamix. Here is the chickpea flour. I took two cups of, uh, of, uh, of the garbanzo beans with chickpeas and I made, I made flour because it, it takes a cup to put in. Hi, wait, welcome to everybody in here. It takes a cup to, to, uh, for this uh, omelet. I haven't had any breakfast, I haven't had any lunch, so this is kind of going to be my lunch and, and, and uh, that together. Since it's all going to be mixed together anyway, um, I want you to see this goes a little bit of water, and I just add a little bit of water at a time and stir it up because I don't want to put too much in at once. And then when it gets when it gets to a right consistency, then I can then I know it's the right consistency to pour over it. Because there's no set amount of water. We just well oh thank you for the super hearts, Erlene. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I just stir this around and get it a real thin consistency like an omelet. It's going to take quite a bit of water, you can see. And I just, I'll just pour some in there. And when it gets thin, gets gets all mixed together, then I just pour it in the, into the skillet. And I'm pouring it over the vegetables. I decided to do it that way because I wanted to put, I wanted to put vegetables in my omelet. I didn't want to make it a plain omelet. I wanted to put vegetables in it. So I decided that this is the way I'm going to do it. As you can see, I'm stirring this up so I can, and I'm going to make a, um, no eggs. This has no eggs or anything in it. No eggs, no milk. It's just got uh, vegetables, and it's got your, uh, just what it calls for, your flour. I don't want to make it too thick. It's got to be just right. I don't want to make it too thick. That'll thin it out. You want to make it thin enough that, you could, that you're going to be able to pour it over the, there. It's nice and thin. Now, I think these are probably translucent enough. But I'm just going to pour this right over here. That's going to be a good. That's going to be a good um, omelet. And bear with me because it's not a trial and error. This is something I've never done before, so I'm 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 learning just like you are. So, um, but that's it's going to be a real good. Real good tasting omelet because I decided to add the add the let the uh, the onions to it, a little bit of tomato, a little bit of pe a red pepper. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. This is my. It's in the. It's in here right now. It's uh, going to be an omelet and to be able to flip it over. If I can't flip it over, it'll end up being more like scrambled eggs. But I'm going to try to do the best I can to flip it. But I got to get it good and done first. I'm going to put it up a little higher there. But as you can see, it it ought to be pretty good with all the vegetables and everything in it. I'm gonna get a little bit more out of the stove. But since this is the first one I've ever made, huh? Oh, yeah, I know you probably haven't. I've been doing periscopes off and on. Um, oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I know some people don't like what I make too well. I had one the other yesterday that said my recipes were awful, but that person didn't know what they were talking about. But you know. I learn by doing, and I'm learning just like you are. You know, I've never made an omelet before, but I'm learning just like you are. And if it doesn't turn out real good, it's okay, because I'm the one eating it. But I'm going to have to wait, wait until it gets cooked enough that I can flip it over. They're not the easiest things to flip over, so let's see if I can get it done. But you can see it doesn't look too bad. I've got onions in there, and I've got peppers. I poured a little uh, parsley into it, and I've got a, um, sea salt. Um, oh, I think it will be too. Uh, 
Um, why somebody saying bye for now? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, it does look good. Like, whether I can get it to flip over as an omelet will be anybody's guess. It may end up being a version of scrambled eggs. Doesn't it, though? It does, without even the eggs. You know, you can learn how to make this yourself. I'll give you the recipe. I'll post it up on Facebook, and I'll post it up on YouTube. I'll give you the recipe for it. It's just one cup of graham flour, which is your chickpea flour. I just, like I said, I bought a bag of chickpeas, and I ground them up in my Vitamix and made flour out of it. It's cheaper than buying your own flour. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Do, yeah, doesn't it, though? It's getting a... I don't know if I'm going to be able to flip it over like an omelet. supposed to flip over, though. We'll soon see. If I don't, it'll be eaten like scrambled eggs. You know what? It won't matter because I'm the one eating it anyway. Um, so, but it's one cup of graham flour, which is your chickpea flour. Um, of course, it calls for baking powder teaspoon, but I don't use baking powder. I use this substitute. So, in order, so I have to use two teaspoons of that because you have to double that. And then one-third cup of plain flour when I have the all-purpose flour. So I use that. And a teaspoon of salt, which I use uh, sea salt for that. And then it says water to, uh, as, as required and oil as required. And I put, like I said, in my skillet, I put coconut oil in the bottom of my skillet. This is the coconut oil I use in the bottom of my skillet to uh, fry it up. <laughs> yeah, I know I do, don't I? I keep fighting. Hi, good to see you. Um... Did I put anything for color? Well, no, I probably could put some turmeric in it to make it a little darker, but I didn't I didn't do that. In fact, I could just go get a little turmeric and add that. I could take and put a little turmeric in it. That'll change the color of it. I'll just have to stir it in. I don't take very much. That'll change the color of it. But, like I said, this may not end up even being an omelet, but I'm going to try to make, make it so, if I can, if I can flip, well, if one side wants to flip over a little bit, we're going to see how it's going to do. And don't laugh at me if it doesn't turn out like an omelet, because this is, this is a little bit of trial and error, you know, it's something I've never made before, and I'm not sure the proper process for getting an omelet out of it, to flipping it over. Well, it's, it's going somewhat, but, um, <laughs> so... Um, I hope you can all make it a little bit better than I made it. Yeah, you know, it can't be. You're right. Because this is the first time I've ever tried this. I've never made this before. And I've, I'm learning just like the rest of you. It's actually probably <laughs> a real thick omelet. It's going to look different. Than, but, you know, I could make it I could make it uh, something else if I wanted to. I'm just going to keep keep working with this. It's not actually going to be an omelet like you, have, like you flip over in the... But I'm just going to keep working with it, and it's going to look good enough to me that I think it'll, you know, almost be like scrambled eggs, a real thick scrambled eggs. Uh, oh. you got to please pray for my daughter. She just messaged me that she's got anxiety. She's not feeling well. You have to pray for her. She's got a lot of drama where she's at. And, um, uh, I, if I were a master chef, this would look like an omelet. It doesn't really look like an omelet. It looks like a blob of, of food on top of one another. It doesn't really look like an omelet. But you know something? You know, I might just leave it out, and it could be just like scrambled eggs. Who cares? I'll just make it that way. It doesn't have to look like an omelet. You know, this is the first time trying it. Maybe the next time I make it, I'll get it flipped over. But it does, doesn't it? You know, that's the main thing. Is it going to taste good? It doesn't actually have to look good, because this is for me anyway. Um, oh, well, thank you for that. You're encouraging me. I'm sure trying awful hard, you know. It's just, it's like I said, this is not something I've ever made before. I don't know exactly the exact process to get it to look like an omelet, but I'm doing the best I can. And if it doesn't look like an omelet, it's going to look more like scrambled eggs or, or anything else but an omelet. So, um, I can, as you can see, it's it's not perfect. No way. I couldn't even flip it over. But it does look good. Anyway, I'm going to try to get all, all the from underneath. Try to get it. and We'll see what, what happens if I can... Yeah. If, I don't know if any of you have ever made an omelet and couldn't get it flipped the first time. I've never really tried this. But, you know, it's, it's hard. It's hard to get it to look like an omelet the first time. This is kind of a... <laughs> it's a funky omelet, I guess. <laughs> Oh, I can, yeah, I can probably mash it together. You're right. 
Oh, I can mash it together. Yeah, I can make it and uh, make it mash it together. You're right. Yes, this is just an experiment is all it is for the simple fact that I've never made an omelet before. I've got to turn my skillet down before it burns it. But I've never made an omelet before, so this is this is something that's just hard. I know Alexis can do. She makes omelets like nobody's business. Of course, she's probably been making them a long time. This is the very first time I've ever made them because I'm not, not used to making them. I've never made them before. But you know something? I'm just going to leave it like that. It's not really the way it's supposed to look, but I'm going to leave it like that because it looks good enough to me. <laughs> it, really, it really does. So... And I'm going to leave it sit for a little bit. But as you can see, we all... Um, <laughs> well, thank you. You know, I figured I'm going to come on here and try it. And if it doesn't look real good, you know, that's okay. Because I'm doing it. And I know it's for me. And if it doesn't look good, that's all right. You know, it's going to taste good. Uh, oh, I think I will. You know, it has no eggs or anything in it. Because we know almost normally are made out of eggs. So... This doesn't have any eggs in it. But I guess you could call it a big thing of, of scrambled. I could call scrambled eggs a different way of scrambled eggs. <laughs> uh, it, it, you know, I wish there was a, <laughs> an easier way to make omelets as far as flipping them over and making them look like an omelet. But, you know, I can do whatever I want. Oh, you're not a fan of eggs yourself. Well, that's good because we really shouldn't be eating eggs. They're not good for us. I, put, I turned my skillet off, so it's not going to cook anymore. We really shouldn't be eating eggs. They're not good for us. But you can see it does. It looks it looks real good, you know. And it's not an, actually an omelet, but I'm going to eat it just the way it is without it being an omelet. Um, um, you know, I'll have to go back and watch that that uh, re that one she made of the, of the uh, pizza. You know, I could try, but you know, I'm always finding new recipes, and I haven't found, you know, uh, anything on the uh, that I was going to make on the pudding and stuff, but I happened to come across this this omelet, and I thought I would try it. Now, if only you can make her omelet look like an omelet, bravo. But anybody can make an omelet look like an omelet, bravo. But it's very, very hard to get it to look like an omelet. Well, I guess it's half an omelet. <laughs> it's kind of folded together, but it's half an omelet. You know, that's all I can do. You know, and I'm thankful that I'm that I was able to make something out of it. I mean, you know, it looks it looks appetizing. It, it looks appetizing even if it if, if it isn't an omelet the way an omelet's supposed to be. You know, they're supposed to be flipped over and, and eat them. <laughs> um, yeah, they were, but yeah, that's right. You know, and they're so there's they're you know where they're where they're um, living. They're all crammed together in one area. So they're not fit to eat anymore, you know. They have no place to, to go, and it's all on top of each other, you know. I don't know how they lay, de lay decent eggs. Really don't. Um, yeah, well, I'll just call it scramble. You're right. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call it scramble, eggless scramble. I put omelet in my, in, my, uh, in my title, but there it looks like eggless scramble. I think it looks pretty good, you know. I might as well, you know. I think it looks good for, for scrambled eggs, actually, and it's like the scramble, you know, scrambled tofu is actually like scrambled eggs. This won't, won't taste anything like tofu because it doesn't have tofu in it, but, you know, uh, yeah, it does to me, too. I'm just, I'm just sad I couldn't make an omelet out of it, but I don't care, you know, I guess I made, I made it my own, I made my eggless scramble out of it. <laughs> That's exactly what I did, um, and, uh, I'm glad I could do that. It's more like an eggless scramble than, than anything. I'll put it on my plate. Let's see here. And then I can hold it up to you. It's quite a bit here, but you know I haven't had breakfast yet. And it's pat it's it's lunchtime, so because I went and had to do some some shopping this morning. So. so I guess you could call that eggless scramble. It looks good enough to be scrambled eggs, doesn't it though? So I'm just gonna call it eggless scramble. <laughs> Instead of an omelet, because it didn't turn out like an omelet, but it does look good. It really does, and I'm glad that I could do this. You know, so I think when I when I put it on Facebook, I'll call it eggless scramble instead of an omelet. Put it on YouTube, I'll do the same thing. But uh, yeah, it does look good. Don't, and um, I'm gonna get a spoon and I'm gonna taste it. Let me see. Uh, 
fork. I'm going to taste it. It's probably a little hot, but I'm going to taste it. Very good. Tastes just like scrambled eggs, really. Mmm. Very different. You don't need all that stuff. You know, with the onions and everything here, it flavors it really good. Flavors it really, really well. So, that's what I've got. This is my <laughs> eggless scramble omelet. It's supposed to be an omelet, but more, it's more like eggless scramble. But you know something? For the first time, I don't. It, it's it's a trial and error. Uh, oh, you want the recipe again? Sure. It's one cup, one cup of graham flour. Now the graham flour is chickpea flour. Um, you may not be able to purchase it any place, but if you have a high powered blender, all you have to do is buy you a bag of chickpeas and and uh, make flour out of that, which I did in my Vitamix this, before I came on here. I made the flour out, and this is the and this is the chickpea flour that I, I took two cups of chickpeas and made flour out of it. Some of it will have to probably be sifted, but for here I didn't. It didn't really matter. And uh, a baking powder. It calls for a teaspoon, but since we as Adventists don't use baking powder, I use the Energy substitute, and which calls for two will be twice as much when you use that. And a third cup of plain flour. I have the all-purpose flour, so I, I use that. A teaspoon of salt. I use sea salt instead of regular salt. And then water um, as required and oil as required, which I put on the bottom. I put coconut oil on the bottom, just sprinkle it on the bottom. And then use put the water to mix it in to make it a little thinner. So, oh, it does, doesn't it? I hope yours, I hope yours ends up looking like an omelet instead of an, a scramble. But you know something? I guess it doesn't really matter as long as as long as it tastes good. That's the main thing, you know. And since I haven't had my breakfast and I haven't had lunch yet, um, oh, got some bots in here. If you if I'm not catching the bots, catch those catch them. I saw some a bot. Yeah, I don't know why we're getting so many of those, but you know, I love doing this for other people because we all need to to share with each other. I love sharing with other people and helping them um, learn to eat the way I'm eating. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot. Well, Alexis, <laughs> I'm glad you came in. This is supposed to be an omelet, okay? But it's more like an eggless scramble because I couldn't get it flipped over like an omelet. But that's what I'm going to call it, an eggless scramble. But <laughs> good to see you, Alexis. So it's an eggless scramble because it, it, uh, it, I... I couldn't flip. I've seen you make your 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 omelets, and you could flip them right over. I had a hard time, so I just call it eggless scramble. But it takes chickpea flour. Chickpea flour is what. And I took, and here's what I did, Alexis. I bought some chickpeas, and I ground up my the the chickpeas into the Vitamix it before I came on here. This is the flour that I got out of it. Makes it real, real thin, because I thought I don't know where to buy chickpea flour. At. A lot of places don't sell it. You'd probably have to get it at a health food store or Whole Foods. And I don't want to go there. Oh, you normally don't flip? Well, that I didn't <laughs> I didn't flip these anyway. I tried I tried Alexis and it didn't work. But everybody said it looks good as an eggless scramble. But this didn't really call for anything in it. But I decided to uh, saute some onions and I did a little bit of tomato and I did a little of uh, the red peppers to kind of give it a little bit more flavor because I didn't want it by itself because I thought it would taste better. Oh, cook from by well, see that was my problem. I had it too high. Thank you for the thank you for that, Alexis. The next time I do it, I'll start that. Well, I'll do that on low heat. I had it too high a heat. That's probably why it didn't work. Oh, you use two pans sometimes. Oh, yeah. Well, you know something. This is my first time making it. So I'm going to make mistakes. It's, it's basically trial and error, as all things are. When you're first learning, it's trial and error until you get it right. Maybe the next time I make one, it'll come out perfect. You know, I think you're right. I probably had the heat too high. I had, had it way on high instead of on low. I forgot. I've been watching your periscopes, and I should have known that you start yours on low heat, and I should have had it on low heat. But I had it too high, and that's why I couldn't do it. But anyway, it looks pretty good to me. Yeah, I know you're always trying something new. Well, this is something new for me because I've never had it before. And uh, low and slow. Yeah. See, I had it going. I had it too high and fast, and that's what my problem was. But thank you for that, Alexis. I'm glad you came in because, yeah, that's what I did. But thank you for telling me that. So now I know. See, like I said, it's trial and error. But you know, I was willing to come in here even if I made mistakes, because you know. 
we're all going to make mistakes. Even the most perfect cook makes mistakes. And, you know, I'm not going to let the mistake that I made bother me because I'm learning from my mistake and I know what to do next time not to make the same mistake again. Um, oh, you're so welcome. Yeah, that's that. You're welcome. Um, oh, um, well, this is not tofu scramble, but I did buy some tofu today to make another tofu scramble, which I probably periscope again because the last one wasn't that great because I didn't put enough stuff in it. But this is not going to put a lot of stuff in it. But this is supposed to be an omelet. But as you can see, it's I had it I had it on too high and I had it going too fast. I'm learning from watching Alexis. I should have known better because I see her periscopes all the time. But she does a lot more cooking than I do because she's a pampered chef consultant. So she know so she lo learns a. Uh, teaches everybody how to cook, you know, and so does Leslie Nance. But you, you know, I learned from them, but I forgot that she had done it low and slow. But you know, I'll do it right the next time. Oh, you're welcome, Alexis. I'll do it right the next time, and it'll look like an omelet. It won't look like scrambled eggs or whatever you want to call it, you know. And I think it's okay just the way it is. Call it eggless scrambled. Nobody's going to know the difference, really, you know. And I'll just name it that when I put it on Facebook or put it on YouTube. I'll just name it that. So it, and it, it, as long as it's edible, which it is, looks good to me, that's all that I care about. Thank you, thank you. I think it does too. It looks really good. And like I said, it was just a plain omelet, or supposed to be a plain omelet, but I wanted to add things to it, like tomatoes and peppers and a little um, parsley and things like that to kind of flavor it up a little bit. But I'll do it better the next time. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad that it does because I was a little worried when it wasn't coming out. I looked, I was a little worried, but I'm glad that it doesn't look too bad, you know. And I'm going to have to get, a re get ready to start eating it in a little bit because it's after 1 o'clock here. Oh, hi, Laurel. Good to see you. Now, don't let the title fool you. It's supposed to be an omelet, but it ended up being an eggless scramble because I couldn't flip it because I had the, the heat too high and I was going too fast. But I will do it better the next time I do it, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. It would. It would. Oh. oh, doesn't it look good, though? It still looks good. It looks great, even though it's not, it just didn't come out as a, as an omelet. Um. Oh, reduce the heat on the pancakes? Now, that's a good idea. You're right. I'll have to, I'll watch this Periscope again, and I'll read, I'll read all the comments that you guys gave me, and I'll follow them. Because you, that's what we're here for. You're here to help me. You know, because I'm not the perfect cook in the world, and I do make mistakes. But, but the the thing of it is, we all learn by our mistakes. And if I don't come in here and I don't make mistakes, you know, I wish I didn't. But we all make. I know Alexis probably makes mistakes too. So does Leslie. We all make mistakes. But I, you know, I don't let it get me down. I still, I still, still do pan, do, do my mistakes and all. You see my mistakes in the Periscope. I can't edit them out. But I'm glad that I could come in here. And I could help you because, you know, yeah, see, even the best cook in the world, look how long she's been cooking. She still makes mistakes. We all do. We learn from our mistakes. We're not going to be perfect, you know. So <laughs> I'm just thankful that I was able to do something um, be, and help you guys. Um, oh, <laughs> that's what everybody keeps telling me. I know I can see it on my waistline, a little bit on my face, too. My clothes are fitting so much better. This is a, an outfit that I wear to church. It's a uh, long black skirt. It was so cold today. Well, only 25 degrees, so I had to dress warm. Really, really cold. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You know, that makes me feel so good that I know I'm doing something right. I'm eating the right foods, and I'm, I'm doing what I need to do to be healthy. And, uh, and I, did, I did eat a piece of my uh, pie yesterday that I made that I periscoped, and it is absolutely delicious. It's a keeper, and it's really, really good. So if you didn't, if anybody is in here who didn't see that Periscope from yesterday, go and watch that Periscope from yesterday that I made a carob, uh, a creamy carob peanut butter pie, and it's really, really good. Oh, ah, uh, you know, I'm not only helping people, people are coming in here and helping me too, because those that do a lot of cooking, like Alexis, she's able to help me to, to do it better, and that's what I want to do. I want to do it better too. So the next time I make it, although I probably won't scope it, I'll just make it a little bit better, and I know it'll look like an omelet. But I'm thankful that it looked like it looks like something anyway. It looks good to me, and that's all that matters. So, but I think I'm going to have to go in a little bit and eat this before it gets real, real late, because I haven't had anything to eat today yet. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go and eat this now. But I thank you all for coming on and, and sharing this with me and being here for me because without you, I couldn't do these periscopes. I wouldn't be able to come on here from day to day and do what I do without your encouragement and keeping me on the straight and narrow. Oh, hi, good to see you. So I thank you all for... Oh, you're so very, very welcome. I love doing it, and I'm going to continue to do it. And the next time I do something, it'll be a lot better. I'll probably do tofu scramble again tomorrow, and I'll make it a lot better. It'll taste better, too. But thank you for coming in, the live viewers as well as the replay viewers. I hope you all have a great and fantastic day. Take care wherever you might be. God bless, and bye-bye.